There's doers and donors, and high wheels and boners and them that don't even try. We're here at the Pensacola Beach Songwriters Festival, ninth annual here on beautiful Pensacola Beach. And we've got a singer-songwriter, Bernie Nelson, who just got off the stage here. Hey, Bernie, how you doing? I'm doing great. What a great show. Great crowd. It was a really good show. You did a great job. Uh, this isn't your first songwriter festival, is it, Bernie? <laughs> no, it's not my first songwriter festival. I've been blessed to do, uh, I think, the very first Frank Brown Festival. And, of course, I do a lot of stuff in Colorado and Texas. But uh, we don't have beaches in Texas other than Corpus Christi like this. So. Right. And you've got a few uh, few hits behind you here, don't you? Yeah, I've been cranking them out for a while now. So, uh, But, you know, it's, it's like... Um, you always want one more, you sure. know, or two more or three more, so take what we can get. And besides a songwriter, I heard you say that you're an author and you have a book out. You want to tell a little bit about it? Yeah, the book is real special to me. Um, it's called Honky Tonk Angels. It's available Amazon, Books A Million, my website, BernieNelson.com. But it talks about 40 of the biggest songs in country music and how they got written. And when you read the book, you'll see these amazing stories. Of this. Just, you got to be kidding. I mean, how the song got to how it got, you know, so they're amazing stories. They're all firsthand stories told me by the writers, the publishers, the producers, the artists. Um, I'm real proud of the book. It's doing really well. Before we wrap it up, Nashville's changed a little in the past few years. What do you think? You know, it's, I tell people it, it's, it changes every five years. So I'm not chicken little. I don't run around, you know, worrying about what's going to happen to songwriters who write really good songs. My belief is that good writers will always write good songs and they'll chase trains. And great writers will always write great songs and wait for the train to come back around. I compare the last five years of music to disco and how it really wasn't a, a great period for songwriters, just kind of goofy little songs that worked. And they didn't buy a lot of disco music, but when it got through, people were starving for real music and that's what's happening right now. So uh, hopefully I'm still capable to get some of those songs out there. We sure thank you for coming to our beautiful Pensacola Beach and honoring us with your songs. Oh, it was fun. I'll be back. And we look forward to reading your book and uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Yeah, we all have to walk around.